Hi everyone, in this video, I'll discuss and demonstrate ARP spoofing to achieve man in the middle attack. But before that, a short disclaimer that the information presented in this video is only for information and educational purpose. You're not supposed to use it for any illegal or malicious activity. So ARP spoofing, how we achieve it. So for demonstration in this video, I'll take two machines. One is Windows 10 here, you can see. So Windows 10 and we will have Ubuntu machine and let's say these two machines are communicating with each other. They are exchanging information. Let's say we, we will be using ping. So they are exchanging ping request and reply messages with each other. So communication is going on. And for that in Windows 10, uh, this will be the information available for this computer. So Ubuntu. So Ubuntu has this IP address and this MAC address. So this information will be there in Windows machine in its ARP table. ARP is address resolution tab uh, protocol. And also Ubuntu will maintain this information about this machine. So both of the info, both of the computers have information about their IP addresses and MAC addresses and this is the reason they are able to communicate with each other, right? So let's remove it. So now in our setup for our ARP spoofing, we will introduce a third machine that will be Kali Linux. And now, of course, they will still be communicating like this. And we will introduce a third machine on the same network and that's Kali with its own IP address and with its own MAC address. And now in this Kali Linux machine, we will first install the ARP spoofing tool uh, and that is actually part of dsniff. So we will install dsniff first and after installation of dsniff, we will run a command. That command is sudo ARP spoof and then this is the interface, it's zero. So that will be the interface of this Kali Linux. And then we will have the target. Let's say this is the target here. And this is the IP address of this computer that is Windows. And then second IP address, that will be the IP address of our second machine. Now with this command, actually we are going to instruct or we are going to send a message to Windows machine like this 130x. We are sending a message to Windows machine that I am 192.168.63.143. It means that sorry, not 63, that's 66. So, so I'm sending a message to Windows 10 that I am actually Ubuntu machine. And for this, I'm sending this message to this. And this is actually done using unsolicited R message. So in unsolicited R messages, even someone is not asking us for, I may maybe not sending us R request, but we are sending a message that this particular IP address belongs to us. And with this, we will be associating our MAC address with that particular IP address. So after this mess, maybe I remove it. So after this, this Windows 10 machine will think that I am Ubuntu and this Ubuntu machine with the second command, maybe with the second command, this Ubuntu machine will think that I am the uh, Windows 10 machine. So now I'm sitting just in, in middle of these two computers and then this will be just like they will only be sending this message to Kali and this will also be sending to Kali. And now this communication will be, uh, I mean, this communication will be broken here. Now this ping request will not be successful because they will be sending messages to this Kali Linux machine. And on this Kali Linux machine, by default, it can only send and receive, but it cannot forward the packets. Now we want that this communication should should continue as it was um, before issuing these commands. So for this, maybe again, I remove this one. So now you see this is coming here and this is coming here. We need to do some magic that this computer Kali Linux machine should not only receive and send, but it should also be forwarding packet so because here this is not forwarding. And for this, we have a command that is a magic command. And this magic command actually instructs the kernel to forward IP packets. So with this command, we are making some changes in some file and that will be, I mean, we are going to enable this feature there. And with this, this Kali Linux machine will be receiving these frames and then will be processing it and will be forwarding it. So communication will again start and, but 
now we this this i mean packets will be transferred from our machine we will be sitting just in between them okay so now to demonstrate the same our spoofing in my virtual environment i have these three machines which i discussed before so i have windows 10 you can see this is windows 10 and this is kali linux and this is my ubuntu virtual machines now these are three machines are three computers connected on us on a single network and yeah. so these three virtual machines in my virtualization software that is vmware right so now first of all let's say we are going to ping from windows 10 to ubuntu or maybe from ubuntu to this uh, windows 10 machine for that we need to have an ip address of windows 10 so for this i'm going to cmd I'm going to launch this command prompt and here I want to see what is the IP address here. So that IP address is 192.168.136 and if you want to see the MAC address here that is also possible and that you can see here that the MAC address for this is this that is ending in E20 right so now we are going to ping this windows 10 machine from ubuntu and let's say for ubuntu i i need to launch terminal and for that i'm going to press alt Control, and t it will bring a terminal for me here and you can see this terminal is there and maybe to increase light okay now if i run ip address then this will show me not only the ip address so this is the ip address the mac address for this virtual machines and now i'm going to issue ping command to windows 10 so for this i have ping 192.168.66.136 so that is the ip address of windows machine i want to show you again so you can see that is the ip address for this one 136 right so we issue command this here and press enter and you can see this is going to send ping requests to to windows machine and see this getting replied okay now they, these two machines are communicating with each other let me bring in a machine which will be working as a man in the middle so that is our kali linux machine and now you can see we have this kali and in kali linux machine we have to run certain commands to maybe trick the windows 10 and ubuntu machine in believing that i am the i'm the other machine which they are uh, maybe they want to communicate with so for this i am going to launch this terminal and this terminal let's see first maybe we see what is the ip address so if config and you can see in this window we have this ip address for this computer and we also have this uh, mac address yes yeah, so this is the mac address and this is the ip address for this kali linux machine and now we have to issue these commands maybe for that i'm going to open a new terminal and in that terminal we have to send these messages to windows 10 and ubuntu to trick them into believing that we are the other computer to which they want to send some messages and for that we have this command and yes yeah but before that we have to install the sniff here and for that we have a command that is sudo app install d s n i f f d snip enter is asking for password give password and then now it has started d sniff tool installation and after that we will be using this arp spoof command here so with arp spoofing means we will be uh, associating our mac addresses with some other ip address which may not be belonging to us so for that we have a command that is sudo then we have arp spoof we want to spoof and then we specify the interface name so interface in our case is eth0 and this you can maybe see here in this window as well this is this is the name of the interface eth0 which we are using so this is the name of my interface so interface and then we give the target ip address that will be our windows 10 so that is 192.168.66.1136 
yes and then we are giving the IP address that uh, that is about Ubuntu so we are sending message maybe we are uh, tricking Windows 10 into believing that we are Ubuntu machine and for that we have to specify the IP address of Ubuntu that is 192.168.66 and okay so that is 143 we give this IP address there and now with this command I can see here we are sending this message and what is in that message and uh, where is this in this window you can see maybe I try to increase this so here you can see this is a, this is sending message that this MAC address which is the MAC address of our computer and this MAC address is associated with this IP address that is 192.168.66.143 right so with this we actually um, spoofed one of the our, uh, we have spoofed one of the computers on this network and then we have to go to another computer and for that I'm going to open new terminal here and the command for that will be sudo and then arp spof spoof and then we have to mention the interface that is eth0 and then we have to give the ip address target that is 192.168 and dot 66 dot 143 so this time this will be ubuntu and then second ip address of windows so 192.168.66.136 so that is windows machine and this is ubuntu right so now we are associating our MAC addresses maybe with the Windows machine. So we press enter and then it's asking for password. After giving password, it says that uh, no such device. Oh, sorry. There's spelling mistake. I've read for this. ETH. Press enter. And now as you can see here, this is to Windows machine. That is 136. And the uh, the MAC address which is being associated with that IP address is the MAC address of Kali Linux machine. So Kali Linux machine says that I am this machine and this is going to associate maybe this MAC address with this. Okay, now we are done and let's see what's the position in this uh, Ubuntu machine. Are we still able to receive this ping request or ping messages back? So I hope you can see that now we are not receiving, we are no more receiving ARP reply messages from Windows 10. Because now Kali is going to receive our packets, but it's not going to forward it to other uh, machine. See, this is still, so maybe if I end this, and if I run the same command again to ping Windows 10 machine from Ubuntu, so press enter, and you can see we are not receiving any reply. Right, this is because Kali has a hold of those packets. And now this is the magic command which will start forwarding those packets. And for that, again, I'm in Kali Linux machine and I'm going to launch a new terminal for forwarding those packets. So for this first, maybe I go to this administrative mode or the privilege mode. And here I'm going to run that echo. That is the command we have to run to enable that feature so that this machine should start sending those packets to um, to other machines okay so this is the this is going to set the feature there and ipv4 and then we have ip forward so this ip forward will be enabled with this one in this directory and then we just press enter and you can see this there was no error it means command has been accepted and now let's go back to our ubuntu machine to see if we are receiving this ping request you can see yes we are receiving this package back right we are getting reply back and this is this communication is going on uh, between between windows 10 and ubuntu machine but this is traveling through kali linux machine and kali linux machine is going to monitor all of the traffic right and as a proof we have a feature of dsniff the dsniff can actually capture the credentials of the communication going on between these two machines because just kali linux is just sitting in between these two machines 
and now to show this I'm again going to Kali Linux machine here and here I'm going to enable this uh, D snip D S N I double F and and this D and D snip will start uh, monitoring the communication let's say I press enter D snip now is listening on inter Ethernet uh, zero interface and this is the interface where we are receiving the uh, packets from Windows 10 as well as from Ubuntu because this interface is in the middle. So now DSNF has started listening on this interface and Kali is there and now I'm going to Windows 10 and from Windows 10 machine I'm trying to telnet into Ubuntu machine. So for this I write telnet t-e-l-n-e-t -E -E and then give the IP address of Ubuntu that is 192.168.66.143 and press enter. You can see it's asking for password and uh, sorry login name. Login name is newbie and the password is also newbie. So this is the feature which I already enabled there on Windows and Ubuntu. And now you can see from Windows we are just in Ubuntu machine newbie USB of boxes right now it means to establish the telnet connection we sent our username and password so now these credentials will be captured by this Kali Linux machine which is just sitting just between Windows 10 and Ubuntu if I say exit for instance from this and now I'm back to my Windows machine from Ubuntu and let's go back to Kali Linux machine you can see here this shows that this was the username and this was the password which was uh, exchanged between Windows 10 and Ubuntu machine. So this is the one of the feature of the sniff which started listening on this Ethernet uh, 0 port or the Ethernet 0 interface and we could capture this telnet uh, communication a telnet exchange of credentials between two, two machines. You can see it from this machine 136 to 143 this was telnet using tcp protocol on 23 port number and this was the username and this was the password and then finally we exit from there one last point that i used in windows 10 i use this feature that i use i mean i use this windows 10 as a client machine so you can i mean turn on this feature in windows 10 and also in ubuntu machine i use this as a telnet server so you can use these uh, command to use this machine as a telnet client as well as telnet server and for this windows 10 we have when you search for this feature that is windows features on and off you have to enable this feature you will have the second window where you can enable this feature maybe here okay so that's it and i hope this video might be helpful for some of you and thank you, thank you, hope to see you in some other video.